Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here. Had a little bit of uh, <laughs> hiccups, technically speaking, so getting started with our uh, permadeath and no... Well, this is not a no-starter ship challenge. It's a permadeath story mode playthrough. So we're going to see how we do. Um, we are pretty much progressing along the Artemis storyline, in case you missed the last episode. So uh, Artemis, we know, is no longer among us, and we are moving ahead to bring a, to get a mind arc, as you can see at the bottom right corner, and return to the Hollow Terminus. So we're going to go ahead and get that done next. I just got to go find the Hollow Terminus. I'm going to continue the storyline. Now, like I said before, I'm going to uh, complete the base out as well. Um, if you take a look here, I am going to get the base expanded and get everything done and down in here. But what we're going to do is I've decided to complete out the Artemis storyline and then we're going to go ahead and finish up the base. And then once we're done with that, we're going to work our way to the center of the galaxy. Like I said, in a lot of the uh, advertising for this, for the description, we are going to work our way to the center of the galaxy. So we have the Artemis storyline to complete. We've got the Atlas storyline to complete. We've got to do all the other sub uh, areas in here as well. Not just designing, uh, fixing up the base and everything like that. Planet in distress, all of this stuff. Um, we've got a lot of different things to take care of. And once we're done with all those things, we're going to work our way to the center of the galaxy as well. But we've also got the uh, Atlantid missions to do, Echoes, all of that stuff. So we're going to do all of it. And once we get to the center of the galaxy, we can call it complete. So this is going to be a week-by-week -week thing. It's going to take a while to get through this entire thing. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, and, and the reason I'm having a little bit of the graphic issue, or pardon me, the technical issues, I've installed a new graphics card. So we're experiencing, uh, seeing what we can experience with this. Everything should look a little bit better. Looks like it's over here. It's not just a little bit better, but once it plays catch up, once everything catches up and, you know, the graphics start to settle in, I've just increased graphics a little bit. That's it. I'm mostly in it for the, uh, for the memory, uh, the video card memory, you know, going from a four gig video card GDDR4 to a 12 gig overclock GDDR6 is hopefully going to help quite a bit here. So here we go. So if there's a little bit of lag from time to time, I may be adjusting graphics on another episode to bring it back down to where it was. You see, there is that little bit of lag here and there, so, you know, that may just be the processor and the RAM having a little bit of trouble, too. So we'll see what happens here. All right. So we are here. Do we need anything, by the way? How are our resources looking? Uh, looking okay. Not great. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're all right. Need more sodium. Hey, since we're here, and there's sodium right here, let's go ahead and grab it. All right. Could always use more of that. Grab supplies while we're here. <clears throat> okay. Nothing like an extra microprocessor. You never know when you might need it. All right, there we go. And more sodium. Excellent. As I said, I need more sodium. Okay, let's go up and confront. Whoop. I, oh. <laughs> it doesn't land any better than that, right? Uh, let's go ahead and confront Null, as we met last episode. Hollow Terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter desi designed to facilitate holographic communication across long distances. Tune into Artemis. So we're going to try to tune into Artemis, but how will that work, right? He should be on repeat still. She should be on repeat. I think we already covered this. Artemis being a female name and a female god back in the Greek times. There we are. Uh, let's see. Let's just use the mind dark. I'm not, well, we can try comforting. I tap to comfort Artemis, telling them everything will be all right. They turn to me with a wild look of panic, clearly not expecting my voice. Who is that? Who? Identify yourself. I tell Artemis I'm their friend, that I could not find them within the portal, but I, that I found a way to restore them. I didn't... I didn't... think you would come back. You never gave up, did you? All these years. I ask what Artemis means. I've... I've been here for 20 years, waiting for you to... You were going to find my star chart, weren't you? Claim they will be safe soon. Who is that? Who? Who's there? Artemis repeats their words again, our conversation all but forgotten. They stare at me. 
body's paint, their mind trapped in an endless loop. They appear to have spent 20 years in the pseudo-death, haunted by loneliness and fear. If the stranger's device works, perhaps I can help Artemis move on. Use the mind arc. I activate the mind arc. I do not, I do not know what I expect. Some show of light, a fury. Uh, let's try that again. Some show of light and fury. Some catharsis where Artemis emerges into flesh. Restored to life before my eyes. But it is not to be. One moment I see their hologram and the next there is nothing. The stranger who gave me these blueprints beckons me over. Their signal is still active. And there is null. Travelers, our dream, an idea that we have some special place in this universe. Artemis had it. You had it. Apollo too, though they would conceal it. Even I had this dream long ago. We are countless, my friend. Walking these worlds, yearning for friendship, no one wants to be alone. Not truly. But the closer you get to others, the more you risk hurting yourself, hurting them. The deepest secret of the universe is not that of the glass, or the aerons, or the progenitors. It is that final act, the decision to abandon those who need you. It is the primal sin, the foundation of existence itself. Go to the stars, traveler. Your friends wait for you. They will help you bring peace to poor Artemis. Return when you are finished. We can ha we have much to discuss. So, yeah. Null is a little bit um, negative, I think is a good word. Uh, this is probably a great many words, but he's... He's biased. He's been uh, kicked out by the Atlas from everything that he thought he might get. So, and keep in mind, they said 20 years had passed since all this occurred. So when you passed through that portal, met the Atlas, and came back, 20 years went by. Yeah, that's kind of crazy to think of, right? All right. So, we're on our way. It's time to go. If I'm not mistaken, it's not telling me yet right now. Wow, it's missing from here, too. Alright. Time to go out into space again. Ah, uh, there it is. Bring Artemis to Nada. Copy of Artemis is stored in the mind arc. Fly into space. Okay, so we're in space. We're gonna pull in up. Oh, and actually, there it is right there. How far away is that? Yeah, it's right there. <clears throat> so we'll just fly to it. No big deal. Don't get too close. It'll slow me down too much. Right, I did. Let's see if we can fly out just a little bit. There we go. And turn around. There we go. So hopefully things should look a little different with the graphics. I think it's starting to finally catch up again. I've got a uh, program pulled up to monitor the graphics card, but it's not monitoring really well. I may just shut that down. I don't think I need to worry about it anymore. Here we go. Go talk to Nada and Polo. I'm running into something here that isn't actually there. Very weird. That happens in a lot of different games, though, I've noticed. You just get these weird graphic tears that you start running into stuff that aren't really there. Alright. Yep, see a little bit of stuff going on. I gotta figure that out. Friend Entity. Polo observed your signal approach, but it was anomalous. The signature was from the wrong time. Are you well? Not incomplete? Not fading? It's perfect timing that a garbage truck is outside my house trying to pick up the garbage. Not as visor light flares, burning with concern and distress. Reassure them. I tell Nada that I am well. My condition has not changed since I emerged from the portal. Nada relaxes, but a question still hangs in the air. I tell him about Artemis, about Null, and about the Mind Arc. The vessel glows brightly as I reveal it. It is Echo. I... I never thought to see a traveler's soul. You are so beautiful. But friend entity, this Artemis Echo is in pain, disconnected. This Ark is no rescue. Ask why. Artemis Echo will never have body again, will never explore again, old life gone, but we can help them. Nada has a machine. No, not machine. It is something living, a refuge. There is a choice. You may upload Artemis Echo to machine to sub-simulation where they may live on, or help Artemis Echo end suffering. Ask about the simulation. 
I ask what life would be like inside this, of this simulation. Nada pauses for a moment, staring at me strangely. Nada tells me Artemis would still feel joy at the things they experienced, but if they should learn of their fate, that they were alone, no longer real, unable to meet their friends. Such knowledge may cause them great pain. You must choose. Upload them to machine, to subsimulation where they may live on, or help Artemis Echo end suffering. I ask if there's another way. Nada shakes their head strangely, trying to adopt my own mannerisms. The gesture is appreciated, if disconcerting. You must choose. Upload to them to machine, to subsimulation where they may live on, or help Artemis Echo end suffering. Okay, so that's all the choices we're going to get. We've decided. <clears throat> Go and speak with Polo Traveler. They will help you calibrate the machines no matter what you, your decision. Whatever you do, I am proud of your compassion. You are Traveler Friend. So you're being assured of, you know, what you're doing here. This is the right or wrong thing, as the case may be. That he's trying to assure you that whatever you do, it's going to be right. So we talk to Polo. Nada told me what you need to do. Just know, friend, that we support you, no matter the choice. I will prepare the machine. It, it is Nada's friend... Let's try that again. It is not a friend's private refuge. Please treat it with care. And that's it. And we're off to the back. Looking good. All right. All right, here we go. Here's the big decision. Decide Artemis' fate and not his private terminal. The machine is ancient and powerful, a relic of a world long since destroyed. The craft is extraordinary. It is clearly tended to often and with great love. I feel a whisper, not as faint hum over the speaker. As they commune with the machine, the words on panel un the words on the panel unscramble themselves. Nada entity authorization detected. Secondary simulation. Five. Right enabled. The relic is a simulation of a solar system. A prayer offered by ancient Corvax to the Atlas, now reshaped at the heart of the anomaly. A single false solar system so dear to Nada. It will act as a home for Artemis should I wish it. Gone through this many times before. I've done the storyline many times before, as some of you have as well. I... I've done both choices. I've uploaded Artemis, and I've gone through all the dialogue afterwards to determine uh, and discussing their life in the side the simulation. I have decided from now on that I will always allow Artemis to pass, because it is not life. The premise of the story, as you learn all about No Man's Sky, is that none of the characters within the no Man's Sky universe are actual people. Then again, the definition of that can be debated. So the point is, is that it is a simulation. Everything is a simulation. And to allow the idea that Artemis simulation, Artemis Echo, if you will, can perpetuate and continue on is to me a, uh, a torture, if you will. Uh, an evil almost. So I'm going to allow Artemis to die. Even as I process my decision, Nada's hum takes on a quiet new intensity. I speak, and their voice replies, intelligible now. They talk gently and suggest I place the Ark upon the terminal. I do so and hear a whisper, a prayer. The Ark begins to unfold, twisting from its center, releasing the traveler's soul within. I witness a spark of blue light blaze within the air before me. It fades after a moment, and with it, the last remnant of Artemis within this world. I hear Nada's voice over the speaker, intelligible now and reassuring. They tell me that it is done. Artemis is at peace now. They suggest I do not dwell on these moments. They tell me that I did the right thing. So it's sad. But Artemis is no longer in pain and is moved on, if you will. So let's speak back with Noda. Uh, Noda. Nada on Polo. Artemis Echo has been disconnected, freed from a cruel life. You have done well, Traveler. Your guilt, it is a sacrifice for the one you called friend. Go on without regrets. Kind words. Polo? 
You did what you had to do, friend. Traveler Artemis is free of pain now. Few can say the same. Uh, so that's it. That's the end of the Artemis line, per se. We do have to continue with the re with the rest of the so-called Artemis line because we got to figure out Apollo and Null. So, here we go. Let's just check our log. You see we're at the Space Anomaly right now. We're going to go back to First Traveler and continue on. And it looks like we're going to be into Apollo. And remember, 20 years have passed. So let's see how we do. All right. Any moment. Are you receiving? Apollo Terminus is showing available again. Your signal was... Thought you were gone. It is a relief to hear Apollo again. It feels like we have not spoken in a long time. Indeed. I try to recount the experience to Apollo as best I can. The gateway, the strange planet, a vast machine, the crimson orb. As I talk, I realize the memories themselves are unstable, that I cannot form them in my mind. It is just a dull, aching red. I tell Apollo that I think I saw the atlas itself. You? You saw it? You met the atlas? The Gek, the Corvax, they worship it as a god. I never thought it was real. Never thought... Are you alright? I can't imagine what you've gone through. <laughs> Say it was not a god. I tell Apollo of the things the Atlas said, how it spoke of travelers and sentinels, if, if, as if we were protocols, not living things. The way it views us, the way it looked at me. It felt as if life and death were just fragile dreams, not real concepts at all. At least it didn't harm you. And I think, I think there's something in what you've just said. The Corvax pay homage to the Sentinels precisely because they believe them to be servants of this Atlas. We should investigate further. This machine will lead us to the Sentinel Nest. We'll be rich before we know it. Say there are more important things. I suggest we have bigger things to worry about. The Atlas felt hostile, inexplicably Pardon me, inexplicable in its motives and purpose, not to mention all that has happened since. I tell Apollo of Artemis' grave, and my encounter with the mysterious traveler, Null. I suggest there is more going on here than an opportunity to earn units. Artemis is dead? I... How? Who would... I know I made fun of them. That was easy. They cared. They believed. And I... What happened to them? Where have you buried Artemis? I want to say goodbye if I can. Tell them of your choice. I never lie. I tell Apollo that Null gave me a way of saving Artemis, to restore them to a form of life. Apollo is initially excited at the prospect of going to meet Artemis, but I explain that I could not do it. I would not have been, it would not have been life, just an empty existence within the simulation. I had to allow, allow Artemis to find peace in death. Ask if I would, if this was right. You did the right thing. You tried. Whatever you might be feeling right now, know that you are a good friend. I have to go through the portal and join you. That much is clear. We just need to figure out the right glyphs, the right address for that world of yours. Find a monolith. Search for patterns in the da data. These things are machines, and we simply need to understand their code and communication. All right. So there we go. We're going to use a monolith. I guess we've got to do a search. That is a storm starting on that planet. Of course you're going to send me there. Alright. And it's aggressive sentinels. This ought to be fun. Alright. So yeah. Yeah. So they're starting to figure it out, right? That's pretty much how this, uh, this storyline goes. Alright. Approximate location. So we need to drop down just a little bit. And we're going to do a quick search when we get in. Yeah, maybe adjusting the graphics another moment in my next before my next episode or my live streams. All right, I don't see it anywhere just yet. Let's get a little bit closer. I think it's right over here. I guess we'll drop down and take a look around because I don't see anything at the moment. Let's go up high. 
Oop, there it is. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's it. Is that the portal? No, it's just a monolith, I think. I can't tell. Hold on. It's just a monolith. We'll land anyway. We'll get some words out of it and maybe get some tech. I literally appeared right on top of it. I have to be careful, too. Yeah, it's extreme sentinels. Get some words up. Oh, there's a sentinel. I don't know if he'll attack while I'm doing this. Anomaly, 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 anomaly. I see the stone of the monolith is immovable, muted silver, and yet something lurks beneath. It is gray and yet not gray, a crimson calling out from somewhere below its cool surface. Locate a portal. Okay, we got a portal. Over that way, how far? Seven hours? I am not walking that. There we go. Ah. We did it without them finding us. Good deal. Alright, how far do we got to go this way? Not gonna happen. Let's go ahead and get out into space and we'll do it. So again, graphics will be just a little bit glitchy until I can dial it in. I've been playing a little bit in order to try to uh, clean it up. I actually adjusted my graphics all the way to Ultra on all settings just to see what would happen at one point. It worked, but it was real glitchy for me. I think my processor was having trouble with it, so... I dragged everything down into the enhanced and uh, a few highs, and that's about it. But I might make some further adjustments and bring it back to where I had it before. We'll see what happens. I love the clouds, though, so I don't know if I'll do that or not. All right, hopefully we won't get attacked. Okay, we're here. Oh, there's another one. Uh, got to recharge it. Hopefully we have enough uh, stuff. Where'd he go? He was just here. <laughs> uh, what do we use? Cobalt? I don't need any cobalt, so I'm going to go ahead and use some of that up. Uh, and get rid of it because I'm running low on other items so we want to be careful yeah see you don't get all of it so we'll go ahead and put the rest in this dihydrogen alright next one what do we got cadmium we are running very low on, on all that we need copper we can't charge this thing up alright what's about this one this one we can do I got plenty of condensed carbon I'll go ahead and do that All right, so I need copper, is what I need in order to get this done. We're about to be attacked, so I'm going to have to be careful. Let's see? All right, let's take a look. Look for some copper. Dioxide, which is always a nice thing. A building, nice. Uh, what we got? And another building. Oh, interesting. Let's go ahead and head that way. All right, we need copper. Take a look around. Really? There's literally nothing out here. Except the dioxide. All right, I'll head there for now, but I'm kind of disappointed. Ah, see, that's why. Gravitino balls, yeah. Ah. We're heading towards water, so it's not helping us any. Alright, let's go this way for a little while. We're going to find it. Grab some more sodium while we're here. I'm in permadeath mode. And we got another sentinel coming up. <clears throat> you hadn't, couldn't give me a simpler planet, could you? Unbelievable. Oh, what do we got over there? More dioxide. That's probably the same deposit. Probably what I'm looking at there. Well, this is going to be fun. We got some more sodium over here, so let's go ahead and grab this. Yeah, go ahead and scam me, calling your friends. Just 
soon as we get shot once, we'll get out of here. It's only level one, so we shouldn't have any walkers. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's time for me to leave. All right. Not bad. Got about 200. All right, where to? Uh, salt. Uh, what's that? That's the dioxide. Okay, down we go. Hopefully these guys don't attack us either. We have enough problems right now. What is this? Salt, okay. Ah, what do we got? Dioxide again. Does this place have copper on it or what? Good grief. All right. Oh, another sentinel. Keep a little bit of a boost in my uh, inventory here. What's that? More dioxide. How about you? Salt. Dioxide. Wow, I am just not getting very lucky with finding copper. Copper should be the more... It should be the resource you should be able to find more of. There we go. <sighs> yep, I know. I see them. Alright, let's take another look here. Got dioxide. Got dioxide again. Uh, salt again. Boy, you'd think I'd just jump in my ship and take a fly around here. But I just expected there to be at least one copper deposit someplace. Where the next one appears, there is something. Salt again. Does anyone else not like this planet at all? Hey guys, just gonna pass right by you there. I have to head in this direction because I've already been the other way. Unreal. It's okay. We're going to get attacked again here any second. Copper, finally. What are you? Okay. Okay, so that's where we're headed. Get up this hill. I'm going to discover animals along the way. Yes, it's just what I do. Train manipulator on. Let's recharge it while we're here. Grab a, grab a word while we run past. Hopefully nobody around. Of course there's going to be somebody around. Alright, how much we got? 30. Probably going to need at least 100 of this stuff. So we're just going to have to, hopefully, hey, come on, don't blow up my uh, copper. A little bit larger, I'm going to go ahead and grab the rest of this and get out of here. Oh boy, they're just really, really mean here, aren't they? Okay. Alright, we're out of here. Oh, I can't get out of the hole. Okay. There we go. Just in case we need it. Alright. Where's my ship? That way. Of course it's that way. Let's wait for them to turn off first. Okay, we're gonna head back. Good deal. 
Only took us, uh, forever to find what we were looking for. Another sentinel. Hey, take every opportunity to get what you need. How we doing? A thousand units away. Alright, we'll get there in a minute. Hey, that's a big bird. Glad I got those upgrades. stuck. Okay. <clears throat> At least we're running faster than they can fly. And we can keep the running going a little bit longer, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Another one. I don't have any idea how much sodium I have at this point, but I think I've got a lot more than I probably have ever needed. Okay. Here we go. Oh my gosh. These guys are just... It's its the opposite of... Not the opposite. It is, it is the epitome of aggressiveness. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> Copper. See, I knew we needed a lot. Hopefully we have enough. Psh, we do. I think that should be it. Traveler capture loop enabled. Anomaly event contained. The portal seems to beg me as I approach, demanding my attention. It requires me to activate it. It requires me to travel on. I am unsure if I should listen. Request this panel's address. And there it is. And we're going to leave. And that's it. Stay in the ship for a moment. Okay, so I gotta go to a hollow terminus. Located. Directly behind me, of course. Yeah, let's just add that to the mix. Get a storm going, too, while we're at it. All right, only 30 se less than 30 seconds away. We're just going to go ahead and fly the old-fashioned way. Just put a little juice into the engines right here, and we'll get there a little, just a little bit quicker. All right. And then scan right there. There it is. All right, here we go. We go before a sentinel follows me or sees me or something like that. So nothing happens while I'm doing this. All right, multiple signal sources available. Tower hosts a powerful transmitter. We've already gone through that. Tune to Apollo. I bet it's not in a dome, you know. Apollo. Have you found the glyphs for your world? I'm almost ready. My suit is upgraded, my stomach is full, and I've hired a get to look after my farm while I'm away. Say you found them. As I look at Apollo, I think of all that I saw within the portal, of all that, of what happened to Artemis when they walked that same path. I think of the face of the Atlas, of the way Nada warned me not to return to those tunnels. I do not know if the portals are safe. Give him the address. I give Apollo the glyphs, asking them to take care to remember what happened to Artemis. They assure me that they will, promising to see me soon. Before I go, they advise me to find out what I can from this so-called null. They warn me to be careful, too. Oop. So we are not quite done, as you can see. 
There's Null. Two lost souls, one who cared too much and one who cared too little. Their lives have not become what was promised, have they? Every sentient being that has ever lived felt that way at some point. I know I did once upon a time. I was angry, confused at my own solitude. Imagine my surprise when you woke me. Oh, I know you didn't mean to. I know you were just playing around with portals, but whatever you did, I'm here now, and I need your help. The Atlas. It is not what you think it is. Something is happening to the universe. Something I need your help to figure out. Ask why they, ask why they need your help. The Sentinels do not just keep the peace across the universe. Their motives run deeper than that. Seeking out anomalies in the multiversal structure and eliminating them from existence. Have you looked at me? What do you think a Sentinel would do if they came across my form? No, it has to be you, Traveler. There is an observatory nearby. It will lead you to the location of a crashed freighter of great interest to our investigation. There. There we will find the first secret, I am sure of it. Know that the Atlas is neither enemy nor friend to us. No more than the air or the wind might be called such names. But it is terrified. It is in pain, and we have a responsibility to help its suffering, no matter the cost. Okay. So this is where things get kind of weird. So let's go ahead and drop down to our ship, hopefully not being discovered by a sentinel yet. And we're in. Good deal. Off we go there. Could they have picked a better planet? I mean, really. Alright, it says to go bring it to uh, Nada. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll just pull it in here. I'm not going to go find it this time. Because I got a funny feeling we're going to be in front of this planet for a little while. Can, kind of makes the game a little bit more interesting, too, when you're on a uh, planet with some very nasty sentinels that are just out to kill you no matter what step you take, so. Kind of makes it crazy. Alright, let's go visit Nada and see what they have to say. So, yeah, Noel is just kind of, he's playing a game. And he's using you, if you haven't figured that out already. You are becoming more visible to Nada, traveler friend. Your eyes lend themselves to our small convergence. This makes Nada happy. Nada is not happy with other events. Portals are infected. Vector for corruption. Artemis entity perished in the portal. Apollo entity will only spread corruption. Danger. Ask more. The Atlas Falsity watches the portals. Portals belong to them. Those who enter may belong to Atlas Falsity. Great danger. By like talking to Yoda. Great danger there is. Or something like that, I don't know. Not a friend does not trust the portals. Scared of rampancy, of the Crimson Hunter, but I do not fear in the same way. What might we discover, Traveler Friend? What might we learn from them? They have the same roots as you, as our home, as all this universe. Ask about fear. Nada is scared we may lose our home. I am scared I will forget the world outside it. Do not let us forget, Traveler Friend. So there we go. We got a little more Quicksilver. How much are we up to now? 450. We probably should have more. I might have missed one of the uh, conditions of visiting them at one point. So back to First Traveler. We're going to visit the observatory. It says, although we just. Oh, the observatory, right. Not the. Uh, yeah, transmitter. Hmm? What are we getting? Steps, I'm thinking? Oh, it's not telling me. Okay, well. Thanks for stopping by, I guess, right? All right, we are coming close to the end of this episode, so we're going to see how much further we can get here, and then we'll be closing down, and we'll prepare for the next one. Okay, looks like we found our spot we need to go, and it's literally right there. 20 seconds away, it says, so I don't think we can even use our pulse drive here. Can we? Yeah, we can. Get through the asteroid field. All right, it says approximate location, so we got to look for a building nearby. Oh, looks like it's there right there. Yep, that's observatory, definitely. It's got the uh, sphere on top. And there's a door right there. Excellent. Once the door is not on the other side of the facility. Get there before we get discovered. Okay. Got a little bit of oxygen. Sodium nitrate, maybe. 
Nope, condensed carbon on that one. And we'll go ahead and grab that too. Occasionally gives nanites, but usually navigation data like that. All right, let's do this. Null's prediction was correct. The terminal is curiously open. The log's ready for me to read. This observatory appears to have functioned as a salvage station manned by a Gex specialist, a translator. They were accused of questioning things they should not be qu that should not be questioned, so sowing the seeds of dissent. This posting was meant as a punishment, but it appears that this posting was the making of them. They found strange things in the wrecks, aberrations, data that spoke of worlds that do not exist and events that did not happen. That Gek went out to investigate one such craft, the life signature of a Corvax still on board. They never returned. Is this how Nada and Polo met? Is this how my friends found each other? There is a signal in the console, a warning on repeat. Sixteen short bursts of data in a loop. Get the coordinates? I extract coordinates for this distress signal. A crashed vessel awaits me on another world. Gotta get that bloom. There we go. Greater crash site located. So now we can go to a little bit more friendlier planet, I guess. And uh, there we go. Over there. Love the graphics on this. All right, here we go. Ship is there. Yep. All right, here we go. On our way. Let's go visit the freighter. Can we do it from here? Yep. Yeah, keep your incoming storm. I'm going here. All right, so what do we got here? Crash site. Find the wreck of Nada's crash freighter. Interesting. And it originally logged by Gek Specialist Polo. Isn't this interesting? So we're about to learn of the origin of Nada and Polo. Oh, there's the freighter right there. There we go. Okay. Let's bring it in for a landing. Now, we've got plenty of money. It's not like we don't have enough units to go around. Um, we could go through here and gather up materials because sometimes things are expensive, if you will. Let me do a little rearranging here. Look at that. Not bad, huh? Say it's not bad. We got a little over 500 uh, sodium out of all that uh, running around on that planet we did. Um, this can go in our ship. Figure we'll do a little rearranging here while we're here. Oxygen should go up there. The dioxide should go there. This is a courtesy to have that. Hopefully we don't have to open up any more portals because we, we won't have enough. We'll need more copper. Maybe we should grab some while we're here. That's probably not a bad idea. Anyway. Okay. Exit. Oh, we won't get any items from this. I remember that now. Crew manifest missing. Limited data available. So we need encryption keys, which we don't have. We have to get them from all of the cargo containers. So we'll do that in first-person view. They're not worth anything otherwise. There it is. Cargo pods. And this will be the end of our episode, I think, here. Oh, I gotta get running. Because that. Okay, so we got one. We need more. So we'll go ahead and grab some more. Um, I have no idea what I just did. I think I hit, a, hit the uh, scanning button. There we go. Alright, let's grab this one. We'll need, I think, at least four of them. But we'll grab all five. the third one. Should be one right here. Okay. Grab this one. I don't need to do that, actually. And this should be the fourth one. And like I said, I'll grab the fifth one anyway because we'll, we might need it. I don't know. Phosphorus would be great. Does this planet have phosphorus on it? No, it doesn't. Okay. It does have... It does have, um... 
hopper. A little bit further. Right there. Okay. Okay. So we've got five log encryption keys. Get out of first person view. Alright, let's go ahead and read these logs. Alright. Crew manifest missing. Limited data available. Read the log. I do not know who will read this message. I do not know if anything will survive, but I must die as I lived. I will record it all, even in the face of oblivion. The smashed remains, SS Copus Abyss. The swarm came to every world. The drones acted erratically, not attacking, just watching. Time passed, and the sentinels did not seem to much seemed so much of a threat anymore. They were peaceful now, we thought. We had been forgiven. We were wrong. Continue. Ship's log requested accessing. See, you needed an extra one. They struck as one, and attacks somehow coordinated across unfathomable distances. With a fury exceeding all prior skirmishes, the Sentinels annihilated all biological life within the universe in a span, span of 54.2 standard minutes, less than an hour. Unreal. I on, only I remained. The Korvax stood with me in the end, to their credit. They concealed me with their flotilla, as they headed towards the center. Continue. Log and integrity compromise patching. One more. They are coming now. The screams of my friends resonate in every hall, every corner. The sentinels have found me. I told Nada to leave. I told them what we already know, all of us. We are not alone. Even if I die, Nada will find me again in another universe. Ten just like me. A thousand. A million. We are not alone, for every soul is many. Even in the face of sixteen, we must declare that we lived. We existed, no matter the horror of the end. They are at my door. I... Error. Unexpected log termination. And now we learn what happened to Nada and Polo. <clears throat> so we've got the information we need to move on. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather a little bit of... Do we have pyrite in our ship? We do. We have a little bit of pyrite. I'm going to gather some copper, and then I'm going to shut down uh, the game from here uh, at this point. Because I don't see... Yeah, there's really not much more to do here at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some copper. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Yes, you can stay with me for just the extra few minutes while we talk about the episode. So... It's interesting, the things that have happened here. Um, you're learning that Nada and Polo existed in a different universe, and that this crashed freighter is a example, if you will, of their existence in another universe. But how did the freighter from a different multiverse get here to this universe? Think about that. So... That relates to the storyline in regards to Apollo and Null. Null knows what's going on. He's playing a game. I just got hit by something. Wasn't watching because I was doing something else. So anyway, let me grab up this copper. And like I said, Null knows what's going on. And is playing a game. He wants us to almost like be on his side. In all of this. And yet. He's. Not as benevolent as you might think. So we're going to learn more about his storyline in the upcoming episodes. I need more of that stuff too. To get this thing fully charged up. So we're going to switch over here soon. We've got a good amount of copper now. Probably a couple hundred. As we get down to 15%, we'll switch. There we go. Gather up some of this stuff here. Want a few hundred to charge this thing up. There we go. Alright. And that's how that works. That's how that works. So we're going to go ahead and end the episode as we get back to the ship. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, 
we're going to continue on this line. And I'm going to try to get some more episodes done in the future. And then we'll have them set up so I get some strange illness again. I have been sick in three and a half years and we ended up with COVID. Uh, so it was really weird. But is what it is. It's been almost four years, actually. Almost four years since I was actually ever sick. Strange. Especially someone my age. But anyway, not important. All right. I think we've got enough. Let's see how much copper we got. Oh, wow. Yeah, almost 500. Awesome. Good. We're done. Where's my ship? Yeah, there's those words again. <clears throat> I say it too quickly. I just need to look around real quick, and I can usually find it. Yeah, 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 I know. Wish I could get some phosphorus to charge up that shield. Hmm. I'm just thinking, I don't think I have enough of this stuff too, so I figured I'd gather it while I'm here. There we go. Can't wait to get an Atlantid laser. Atlantid uh, multi-tool, that is. It's for gathering resources, it's the bomb. Better than anything else you could possibly have. I'm not going to recharge my heat shield here. We're just going to get back to our ship. There we go. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. This was Alon Paul in the permadeath story mode run through all the way to the center of the galaxy. So we're going to continue on. We, our next mission will be taking on, uh, we'll be going to Null and uh, checking things out. So I want to thank you all for watching again, and I will see you in the next episode. Take care, everybody. Thank you very much.